Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at using graphs to find limits. So we have the problem for the function f graph below, find and we need to find a few limits for this problem. So now when we're first learning about limits it's important to develop a strong graphical understanding of what a limit is. So without the complicated formal definition, a limit is simply a point that the function is traveling towards. And this notation, this limit notation, in some sense directs you where to travel to along the function. So for instance, if we have the limit, and now this notation here before we move on, 3 minus, doesn't mean negative 3. It means we're approaching 3 from the left side. So we have the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of f of x. So now what we're focusing on is we're approaching 3, we're coming in from the left side as opposed to coming in from this direction on the right. So now what is the function value, what is the limit of this function as we approach 3 from the left? Well, a good strategy for finding that limit, we're going to trace the function with our left hand and we're going to follow the x-axis with our right hand. We want to synchronize the two. So now as we get closer and closer to 3 from the left, we ask ourselves, what is the corresponding function value that we're getting closer to? Well, notice that as we approach 3 from the left, the function is getting closer and closer to a value of 5 along the y-axis or the f of x axis. So in some sense, we're looking for the corresponding y or f of x coordinate as we approach 3 from the left. And one particular value we may be approaching, we would be approaching 2.999999. We would be getting really close to 3 from the left side. So we have the limit as x approaches 3 from the left is going to be 5. So we can set this equal to 5. So now we're going to do something very similar when we find the limit as x approaches 3 from the right side. This plus means we're approaching 3 from the right side now. So what we need to do is we're finding the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right. So we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to trace the x-axis with our right hand and we can follow along with our left hand along the function. We're going to synchronize the two. So now as we're getting closer and closer to positive 3 from the right side, what is the function value that we're traveling towards? What is our cutoff point? Well notice as we get closer and closer to 3, the function is getting closer and closer to a value of 4 along the y-axis or the f of x-axis. So this tells us that the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of f of x is equal to positive 4. So now for part C, we don't have to do any work with the graph because they're asking us what is the limit as x approaches positive 3 of f of x. Well notice how the limit as we approach 3 from the left was equal to 5 and the limit as we approach 3 from the right was equal to 4. So since those two limits are not equal, this tells us that this limit here does not exist. This is by, this kind of goes by the formal definition of a limit. But all we need to know is that if the limit from the left does not equal to the, if the limit from the left is not equal to the limit from the right, as we approach the same point, we're approaching 3 from the left and right, if those two limits aren't equal, then the limit as x approaches 3 in general does not exist. So that's all we need to know for this problem here. So now we're asked to find f of 3. This seems like an out of place question, but this does have merit when we do springboard to continuity. But all they're asking for is the function value at 3. But what we need to be careful of is not to confuse the point 3, 4. The point 3, 4 is not a part of our function because notice how we have an open circle at this point here. This means do not include that point because then this wouldn't be a well-defined function. It would fail the vertical line test. So the function value at 3 is going to be equal to 5. We have the point 3, 5 is on our function and it's colored in with a solid dot. So that means that that point is on our function. So f of 3 is equal to 5. So now what we need to find next is the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x. So what this is asking us is what is happening as our x values are becoming increasingly negative as we're going towards negative infinity. Notice that if we trace with our right hand as the function, as our x values are heading towards negative infinity, the function is spiking up towards positive infinity. The y values or the f of x values are increasing towards positive infinity. 
So this tells us that the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is equal to positive infinity. But now this notation, since infinity is not a number, this tells us that we do not have a definite limit. We can't contain a single point. So this tells us we could say this another way. We could say that our limit does not exist, which will indicate with DNE. Whenever you get a limit of plus infinity or negative infinity, as your result, another way of stating a limit of infinity is to say that that limit simply does not exist because infinity is not a number, it's simply a direction. So now we're looking at the last question, we have the limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x. So what we need to do is we're looking as our x values become incre as our x values are increasing towards positive infinity, what is happening to the function? Notice how in some sense this x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. So as we're going in this direction here, the function values are getting closer and closer to the x-axis which tells us that this limit is approaching zero because notice all of the points along the x-axis have a y-coordinate or an f of x coordinate of zero so as x approaches positive infinity the function values are approaching zero so that this limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x is equal to zero so just a quick recap remember a simple definition of a limit it's simply a point that the function is approaching and when we run into pro we're going to run into problems if we have a limit approaching two different values from the left and right side. We're, we're going to say that that limit does not exist because there's no way we could contain a single point as we're approaching from the left and right if they're approaching two different points. So we can't say it has two limits. It can only have one limit, so therefore this limit would not exist. Okay, well this is going to conclude this problem on finding limits with graphs. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.